All right, this is Rob Ripe Designs again. In this video, will be about the tie-down bracket for Indian Challenger. Only problem is, I have a pursuit. So, I'm gonna do my things a little differently than everybody else out there. Alright guys, we're back and uh, we're going to install this tie down. I get it, it's not for everybody. You can tie down your forks, you can tie it on wherever, but I want to tie down uh, to where I thought would be kind of a cool piece to have in there and to tie down easier. So, this is the Karyakin tie down strap, but the problem is it only fits a Challenger. The Pursuit has a piece of plastic in the way and uh, there's been a couple of dudes that did a great job. One drilled through the plastic, which I'm going to do the same, but I'm just going to do a little bit different. So uh, kudos to uh, two Indians also for installing one and having a hell of a time installing one. So this is what I will do in this next video to show you what I'm doing to make the hole smaller and make a cleaner fit. All right, so basically uh, I've got a little piece of aluminum thin thin piece here and uh, I'm gonna make a template which I made pretty quick and the reason for this is I'm going to go from the back side forward and mark those slots and the way to do that is actually bolt this in and see how close I can get to the plastic and then cut that hole uh, since this piece is angled I uh, made a piece on here as you can tell I'll have to make two of these but I'll just cut that down like that. Okay, we'll cut this, I'll bend it, and then, uh, yeah, see how it fits and see if I can make that angle correct so I don't have a huge hole uh, doing this. I've already drilled this and uh, basically it's gonna sub-drill it. Again, this is thin, thin aluminum. Uh, just have it spare. You could use whatever, whatever you have. Actually, you could use cardboard too if you could keep the bend correct on it. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing here is trying to keep this uh, pretty close to what the piece is. And again, I don't even know if you can still get these uh, tie down. Last time I bought one. Uh, everybody was out of stock, so I don't know if they just said screw it. Um, but I did find some on, I want to say it was on Amazon actually. And I'll have a link down below for it. Um, like I said, a lot of times they're out of, they're out of stock. Maybe because mainly, maybe more people are buying pursuits. I have no idea. Again, I'm just making a rough template. I'm not getting too, too crazy with this. It's mainly just something that I can put in its place. I can get close to that plastic in there. And then uh, there's another guy on YouTube that actually did this too and actually looked pretty decent, but I wanted it to be a little bit cleaner. Um, so that will be the trick is can I get it to where it's supposed to be at all right so that's that now I need to decide um, which bend I want to do let's use a pen Get it pretty close, not to get too crazy. I can tell what fairly square is. Again, this is a quick template. I'm not making it per se. 
to be super accurate. And uh, let's put my little Harbor Freight bender. Try to get the same bendish. And again, you could do this in a, uh, looks pretty close. Okay. If I want to get a little, do a little bit more on it. Okay. That might be a little too much now. So, and uh, there we go. I'll make another one of these for the other side and uh, get back with you on what I'll do next. All right. So here's the gig. Um, I have extra wires for my, my bike because I have an uh, aftermarket stereo system in it. So the two bolts, if you come in, left-hand side, are right here. And the other one is right. Hard to see it. Right in there. It's right here. So... The obstacle is to figure out the correct angle for that lower bolt to get this bracket in. Okay, you wouldn't have all this in a place for a challenger, so that's the difference. So, um, I've got one angle uh, bent up. I just got to make sure the angle is correct, and I'm going to put this literally in here. And kind of figure out where that angle would be at with this bolt through it. So that's the next kind of thing I'm doing. Okay, so this is kind of peculiar because of where it sits, and um, I basically have had to cut my little template out. Um, again, this is all going to go into here like this, like from the front. But this is the piece that I'm trying to emulate, okay, and trying to see exactly where it's going to sit on that plastic. And this should be the same from, you know, left to right. So um, that's kind of half the battle that I'm working on, trying to get this in here. And it's kind of difficult to video it, but uh, once I get the bolt in it, um, then we'll get back with you. Okay, so my template's in there, my little white piece that's in there. Um, like I said, it's, it's difficult to kind of t see what I'm doing here, but basically I'm trying to emulate this piece right here. That way I don't have a big gash and hole there. Um, I watched another guy do it, which made sense. He used a drill bit to pinpoint that area, which is a great idea. And uh, so next I'll try to uh, get a long drill bit and see if I can get that mark correct or not. The problem is, where does this need to be at left to right? Because this piece is somewhat angled, but it looks like it's basically straight on. Uh, Again, you'll probably never notice it unless you know you came to my bike and checked this out. But uh, the other mounting will be here, and how that will fit is this will come around like so. Oops, sorry guys. So this is the, this will go onto this bolt. Hopefully you can see that a little better. I'm trying to get light in here too is kind of a pain, but all right. You guys get the idea. All right, so I've put some tape in there. I've marked a mark in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I hope you can. It's a little etch in the green tape. Okay, what I did realize though is um, 
basically this piece right here will go in right at the snuckle um, so I'm basically going to drill a hole small one right where my line is at because I know that's my edge and uh, finish it up from the front so yeah all right that's what's next all right so I'm using just a little hand drill uh, I'm trying to get a good angle in here which is almost impossible um, basically you can kind of see I've got a hole going in there and uh, You know, this is about finesse. It's not about how fast you can get it done, unless you just don't care. Aesthetics what it looks like. And again, you'll never see this. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can do a drill bit or with a, a drill. But for me, um, this is kind of level with this. Okay. Again, I'm just using a, I think it's an eighth inch drill bit. And we'll clean this up in the front with a file. So once I get that, uh, once I get that drilled out right there, uh, I'll show you the front side. All right, so I know I'm in line and uh, I thought I would just do it from the front side because I'm having a hell of a time from the back side. And uh, slowly pop this hole there. Okay, and now just slowly take a file. And this is just plastic, so it's pretty malleable. Here I'm just trying to get the hole kind of streamlined and just trying to get it figured out where I want the rectangular hole to be and just make it cleaned up. I don't want to make it really nasty looking. All right, so now we got the hole set. Again, I'm just trying to clean up this hole, file it really nice, and make it look really good. Okay. Now we just gotta clean that hole up and uh, get the piece in there. All right, guys, so uh, I've been working on this for a little bit. I'm trying to take my time so there's not a big old gashing hole in this. Uh, fairing piece so a lower fairing piece so basically what I've done is I've made a hole and my piece fits um, fits actually pretty good but um, I just want to make it clean and I need to go up a little bit uh, up on my hole so I'll take my time and uh, Basically trim it, file it, um, make it look pretty. Uh, what I've been kind of doing is taking a razor blade, because it'll cut easy. And I will kind of manipulate the plastic a little bit carefully. Again, I'm using a razor knife to cut this hole a little faster. If you cut it a little bit at a time, and then when I file this, um, I've got a line that I've drawn on my tape. And that will help me 
get to where I need to get to. Clamp my hole, make it look like it's supposed to be there instead of an afterthought. That's the whole idea, right? And uh, make sure it fits. Again, you wouldn't have to do this for a Challenger. Uh, it's only on a Pursuit. Or, if you have a Challenger with lowers, of course, uh, you'd have to do that too. Or, you can just uh, strap it on your, for your uh, fork tubes, like most people do. And don't go through all this trouble, because it really is a lot of trouble. And, uh, yeah. All right. I sped this part up because I'm basically just filing the hole, making it look really nice and clean. Again, I have a line there, and I'm just literally filing to pretty up my hole. is I'll actually take this pattern and kind of put it on the other side. All right, so we'll test fit this again. And let's see how that fits now. I think that's gonna be the ticket, boys. That's like a glove, actually. Wow, all right. That's really good. Okay. Again, I'll uh, take off my tape and uh, clean my hole just a little bit more, which my hole looks, I'm pretty happy with my hole. Um, and uh, you can see through there where it's going to be mounting. I got green tape on the other side still, so I'll go ahead and clean this up. I'll come back and I'll show you my little uh, pattern deal I'll use, and uh, we'll put it on the other side, see how it works out. All right, guys, so basically, I'm going to take some uh, poster board got for the kids and uh. I'm going to somewhat press this around, okay, all right, so I've got a mark, all right, I'm just going to basically cut my where I have an indention. I like patterns. So the goal is to have one side look the same as the other side. Or at least that's my goal. Your goal can be whatever. Um, my somewhat line there again this is just a taping type of template okay a little bit too much there it's okay I'll kind of rearrange it all right Uh, 
We're going to kind of cut this right here. And we're going to go back up to here. And I will start taping in position and kind of get a layout. So sometimes it'll take me two or three times because I can see my line is literally right there instead. Okay. And then The idea is to get this somewhat close, if we can. So that should be better. Yep, okay. Okay. String that line out just a little bit. You guys will see this here in a second. Okay. And then we will kind of All right. There's my template. All right? And what we'll do Take that in place. Okay. All right, now my hole is right here. And I will make an indention for that by pressing on it. Take this back off. We'll cut that hole out. Okay, we'll get this back up there. I'll finish cutting it in place. Okay. My goal here is just to get it so it's basically the same shape. Um, same width, if we can. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good there as a template. Um, I might clean this up up here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I will clean this up right here though. And the bottom. Okay, so. That's basically my hole design for the other side. I'll flip this on the other side. So, 
All right, we'll start working on, uh, we'll start getting this one in. I'll take this off. Trim up this piece of tape right here. Trim up this piece of tape. And then we will, should be able to, start the other side. So basically that will be my template for my other side. Um, but for now, we'll work on getting the uh, Karyakin tie down strap in. All right, so this swings around here, this swings around like so, and then we gotta get our bolts in. Uh, the bolts that are supplied are basically the same that are in there. They add a washer. And uh, so basically you just gotta get this lined up, which are pretty close right now. Get both bolts started. get back with you here once I get this in. All right guys, so I got the tie down strap finally in. Uh, got room around the tie, tie down strap. Of course you have to have it bigger here. Uh, that way you can get the actual, I guess you'd call it where the hole, the, uh, hole is at for the bolt. And uh, looks good. I'm kind of excited. Just to be able to strap right down there. Again, this is not for everybody, I get it, uh, but I'm not here for everybody. I'm here just showing you what I did. And in the inside, there's the bolt, and there's the other bolt, as you can see in there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about it, looks good. All right, we'll start on the next side. All right, so basically we're gonna put the template back up. The other one I took from the other side and uh, just kind of want to see if my, my holes kind of line up. Um, they should be somewhat close-ish. And uh, yeah, just kind of get that in line right there. And that hole right here, uh, this hole should be somewhat close to the other side. Uh, that's the goal, I guess, right? And I'm about to find out. So, okay, here we go. All right, so I've got my template set up again, pretty close, and I am just literally gonna draw this square out. And basically remove that. So here's my, there's the square as you can see. Um, and I'll start the drilling from the other side and see if we get somewhere in the same ballpark. All right, so I repeated the same steps. Um, I loosened 
this bolt here. And there's another bolt there, way down in there. Hopefully you can see that. And I got my little piece I made, my little uh, template piece. And I'm gonna draw a line, I'll, I'll draw, I'll actually probably will just drill dr directly uh, through that. Um, so hopefully, I've got my cables in the way. Um, you kind of can see that one right there. Yep, there she is. Okay. I'm basically going to run off my little template so I can drill my hole. Um, it's a little difficult to do both at the same time, but uh, so I'll put two holes right here, one right here, and I'll put one on the other side over here, and that will give you my way I can line that that hole up to get the actual bracket in. All right, so I got my first hole, which you can see it's in my uh, pattern hole that I made earlier. So that's exciting. Uh, I'll drill a hole on the other side, take that bolt in that little piece out, and then we'll start drilling from this side. All right, so I've made my second hole, and uh, it's still in my pattern. So what I'll do is I will uh, basically drill this pattern out, file it, clean it up, and uh, see if we fit. All right. So after the first two holes, I just keep on drilling a couple more holes to help me file that little rectangle out a little easier. Uh, I'm basically repeating the same steps I did on the other side. I'm taking my time and I'm just trying to just take, just finesse this hole because I don't want a big gouging hole. It'd be easy just to drill a big old hole with a half inch drill bit, but I want to make it look clean like it was supposed to be there from the Indian factory. So this time and now I'm trying to cut out that hole with my razor knife and I'm slowly cutting it out because I have about three or four holes in there right this minute. And this time now I'm taking my small little file I'm cleaning that hole just a little bit nicer I'm trying to open it up so I can put my bigger file in there. With the bigger file I can really fine tune that, that rectangle to fit the bracket that has to go in there for the tie down. So here I'm just taking my time, filing away, making it look nice. So here's the finished product with the tie downs actually hooked into my motorcycle stand and that is the left hand side. As you can see it's easily strapped down, the right side is easily strapped down and uh, it's just a nice little fit. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the time I took to make this. Please subscribe and like what you see. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Come back for another.